morning. Good morning, world. This is the second day in a row that I've been in Seattle and there hasn't been a cloud in the sky. Tell you what. Knock on wood. That's some pretty good luck. It's time to fly home today, guys. Back to the regular everyday life. I had a blast this weekend. It was so awesome. So, let's get to the airport. Have you ever heard of Uber before? It's like a taxi, but better. It costs about the same, but you get like a luxury ride. You can get anything from just a regular town car all the way up to a sweet, blacked out Escalade to take you wherever you need with your own personal driver. So if you enter my code in the app, PF219, you get $30 towards your first ride, and that gets you pretty far. $30 would pretty much almost get me from where I'm at at Seattle Center to the airport, which is pretty good. I'd say it's cheaper than a taxi, depending on like what level you take, right? So, yeah, if you enter my code, you get your first ride for free, I would recommend them. I've been using them all weekend. So, try them out. You know what I thought it would be great? I'm gonna start using them from truck stops. When I get to a truck stop, you know how, like, you wanna go explore the city a little bit. Maybe you wanna go get a bite to eat, but it's just, you're stuck in your truck, right? You can't take your truck into the city. Call up an Uber, better than a taxi. You get personal service right to where you wanna go. And like I said, if you use my code, you get your first ride for free up to 30 bucks. So that'll get you pretty far. So I wanna show you how this Uber thing works. I just learned about it yesterday from one of my friends here. It's pretty sweet. So you set your pickup location, right? I can tell you where I am because I'm not there anymore. 505 First Avenue North, I'm at the Inn at Queen Anne. We wanna to go to Seattle Airport, right? Okay, so Seattle Airport. Now a lot of major cities around the world have Uber, apparently. I haven't heard of it until this weekend. Uh, but a lot of my friends here have been using it on a regular basis. And they say it's the best way to go. It's cheaper than a taxi. You can tell exactly where the cars are. Like if you look at uh, this right here, I'm gonna zoom in. See, I'm here at the Inn at Queen Anne. You can tell that there's a black car waiting right here. And it's only a two minute pickup. So once you set your pickup location and your destination, the driver gets the message right in his vehicle and the closest one comes to you and you can actually follow him as he drives. Like this guy would start driving down the street and you can see exactly where he is. And then it'll give you his license plate number, his picture so that you know it's the right guy. You get into the car, he knows exactly where you're going, he'll take you to where you're going and you don't gotta pay them anything, nothing. It's great. Uh, it's all set up through either PayPal or uh, a credit card or like I said, if you use my code, First ride's free. That's pretty cool. If you go a little further out here, you see this? You can see how the black cars are all over. Maybe I want to go like super baller and get the SUV. Let's see where all the SUVs are. Oh yeah, see all the SUVs are mostly downtown. See that? Or you can get an Uber XL. It's like a, a van. There's one up there, not very many. You can see how he's moving down this street right now. He's on a mission going somewhere. Let's see, just Uber X, the regular Uber. And there's where they're driving around. See that? Isn't that cool? It's an app, so you know. So you go on your smartphone and you gotta download the app, Uber, U B E R. I don't know how they came up with that name. Uber, Uber Duber, Super Uber Duber. You know what I mean? Uber. You gotta download the app and you gotta register with the app. And from there on, it's so easy. And it's safe to use because I use it myself and I've had no problems. All right, so I just requested the, the cheapest one. And it shows a picture of the guy here. I won't show it on YouTube. I don't know if I'm allowed to or not. Uh, it shows his name, the kind of car he's driving, and the license plate of the car. It also shows where he is. You see that little car there? That's him. He's stuck at a stoplight right now. But he's going to drive all the way up to that blue dot, which is me, and pick me up. And it says he should be here in five minutes, so I better get ready. It's a beautiful day in Seattle and we're just sitting out here waiting for our Uber. He just called me, said he's around the block. And he should be here any time now. I don't really want to leave, it's so nice. Look at that space needle out there. Very nice location I was in, it was right close to everything, right? So, there he is right there. Okay, nice car. 
Oh, nice car. Thank you. Where are we going to take me? We're going to go to uh, Seattle, Tacoma International Airport. Oh, Got to catch a flight. Okay. Way better than a taxi. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go home. <laughs> They don't have escalators, but they have moving floors. Just in case you got tired of walking or were just too lazy to walk. You don't have to at Seattle Airport. You can just glide along to over there. Seriously? That's the funniest thing I've ever seen. But we're gonna use it anyways. You can just glide your way to your plane. Very nice. And yeah, I don't I I just I don't know. I don't know what this is. Uh, I don't know. Apparently it's art. I've never seen that in an airport before. Should I be worried? I guess we are on the west coast. We get earthquakes here. They're supposed to be boarding my flight in like 10 minutes, but the plane isn't even here yet. I'm gonna go check to see if it's delayed. Oh my. Right. Just supposed to find mine. So I'm connecting in Denver. Flight 457. I think that's what it said. Do you guys see 457 anywhere? There it is. Denver United. On time. I was only supposed to get here at 308. I thought we were taking off at 308. No, that's a departure. Departs at 308. So my flight got delayed because they don't have pilots. I'm new to flying, so I'm not sure if that's a regular occurrence. But I just I assume they'd have pilots. But I ran into Eric TV What's here yeah. from YouTube. His link will be down below in the description. It's not a regular occurrence for a flight to not have pilots. I'll tell you that. <laughs> that's that's good to know because I, I'm kind of shocked. Like they could have told me there was bad weather. They could have told me a pilot died. Yeah. Anything, and I would have been, oh, that really sucks. But no, but the fact that they don't have pilots, it sounds a little bit. Unorganized. That's a little bit fishy, okay? Yeah, yeah. No pilot for an airport, for an airplane? I don't know about that. Yeah, but we're like checking out these awesome pillows right now. Absolutely. What do you guys think? You guys think I'd like this? This is memory foam. Here, reach out onto your screen right now and touch this. This is amazing. You probably thinks it feels a little bit harder if you're touching your screen. Yeah, yeah, well, <laughs> don't like, judge oh. it like that. But this is like memory foam. You know memory foam, right? Just imagine you're squishing this right now. I could really use that. I noticed that on the flight in, it was very uncomfortable trying to take a nap, and this would solve that. But I still can't see a price on this anywhere. I'm guessing since it's in the airport, it's going to be twice as much as it would be at Walmart. I wanted to buy a sandwich before. A ham sandwich cost me eight bucks. A ham sandwich. Was it, was it like a Starbucks a ham sandwich? It was, yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. It was Starbucks. <laughs> so it was Starbucks, plus it was in the airport. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, I was hungry. Mm, oh, we're gonna figure out, we'll look around here. I'm waiting an extra hour now for my flight. And then I'm getting a layover in Denver. And they're paying for the hotel and whatnot, so I can't really complain. They're taking care of me. Uh, my flight leaves from Denver 10 a.m. tomorrow then. And I'll be home tomorrow afternoon. So I guess we'll be leaving on a trip the next day. I'll have to let dispatch know. But I'm gonna keep hanging out with my friend here and we're gonna Consider buying this. If I can find a price. Oh, it's probably up here. I know what this one is. This one's 32. Those are 32.99. <laughs> uh, so all of you who voted, 
you win. I'm not buying that. This, I guess, is what we call a people mover. Because if you're just tired of walking, you don't have to. It's like an escalator, but it's flat. I don't understand it either. But, or you can just keep walking in here like Superman walking yeah, really fast, like that. Yeah, yeah, but you do daily vlogs on your channel, right? Yes, I do. So daily you know, vlogs. Something funny. These guys, they might have made a face when they went by. No, because they, they saw Josh over when he was vlogging earlier, and they were like, you know, like just walking by, going like that, looking at each other. People still think this is weird to vlog, like to talk to a camera. It's not weird. That's what vlog affair is all about. See, I, I don't feel so weird anymore. <laughs> it's nice meeting people who do the same thing as me and who don't think I'm weird. I don't think you're weird. I think it's straight normal. It's, I mean, I've been doing it for almost five. We're, we're in year five of doing daily vlogs, so it's not weird to me. I walk around talking to a camera all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's different when you're watching the vlogs. You don't actually have to see me. It's different when you see somebody vlogging. It's different. Yeah, I guess it is a little bit. But you can always just tell, like, if, I, if I'm vlogging with my camera, if I'm on a vacation or something, I can always just say, oh, I'm just FaceTiming. It's no big yeah. deal, I'm just FaceTiming somebody, else, even though I'm talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do that because you guys are on a GoPro right now. <laughs> it's pretty obvious I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> Alright, this people mover is awesome. Winnipeg, why don't we have people movers? Oh, that one's broke. We actually have to walk now? Just in case it took okay. off while I was walking. Yeah, you don't want that'd be dangerous, man. You could sue the airport and get rich. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so flight got delayed, but I met a good friend from Vlogger Fair, so it didn't turn out to be that bad. And he's sitting here waiting for his flight too. Because he's on standby, right? Yeah, so I've been here since 10 a.m. and right now it's uh, 3 p.m. And I still will probably be here for a lot longer because I'm like standby number 13 on the list. So really, I got nothing to complain about. I mean, it could be worse. I still don't understand how they don't have pilots, but whatever. We won't say anything. They're taking care of me. Here, stop right here for a second. Well, guys, look at this. Not bad, eh? So United Airlines actually did take care of me. Yes, they caused me to miss my flight into Winnipeg. But, as an apology, they got me a new flight tomorrow, which leaves at 10 a.m. And I was like, I'm not staying in the airport overnight. I mean, this isn't my fault, and it's not the weather's fault. It's the airline's fault, right? So, the airline, United Airlines, was nice enough to set me up in a hotel here in uh, the Doubletree in Denver, Colorado, overnight. So, all bad feelings against them are gone. They've made things right. Big thank you to the airline for taking care of me. Uh... I guess things just happen sometimes. I don't understand the shortage of pilots excuse still, but good thing I didn't have anywhere to be really when I got home. And I was getting home late tonight anyways at like 11 o'clock I was going to land, so this way I'll just land tomorrow afternoon. But either way, they took care of me. They took care of the situation. Problems happen. They solved it. They took care of me without any charge to me. They covered everything. So, uh, yeah, I'll give you a quick tour here yet. Probably one of the nicest bathrooms I've ever seen in a hotel. This is actually like 10 times nicer than the hotel I stayed in Seattle. Very nice. I don't know where that door goes. Alright, and other than that, I'm going to end the day here, guys, I guess. And uh, wait one second. Wait, we got to do this. There it is. It's even open. I'll talk to you tomorrow. 
4 a.m. Central Time for our continuation of our flight home. Hopefully this time we'll actually make it.